What's up? This is Clever Dad, and I have the Valentine's Brown Bear. Look at that. It's got hearts everywhere. This is set number 40462. Has 245 pieces. Look at those feet. They look like bear feet with the Valentine's. You can also get this Easter Bunny. Hopefully I can find that one too, but let's open it up and sort this thing out. Alrighty, here's the book to the instructions. However, I don't typically use the instructions. I use my tablet to follow the instructions online, usually in the Lego instructions app, but this instruction was not available there, so we're gonna do it without the app, and with just the PDF instructions from their website. We will start with a one by four brick, then two of the six by six curved. So we'll go here and we'll grab the second one like that. There you go. Next up, we'll do the four by four curved bricks. They go on the edges like this. Another set of two by uh, one by fours here and finish out the curve just like this. So we're building the base to what the bear sits on. So it will take a two by two with a single on top. And they do something weird inside here. I've seen before, this is a two by four brick, two, one by four bricks there and there. And then a single red one by one brick, just like that. I love you. Oh yes, I got it because we put a heart here. And now, there you go. I love you right on the middle. There is a one by four brick the four by four curved bricks here and here. And that's the end of the plate. So this whole thing gets covered up with these six by six curved plates, just like this, all the way around. Now, in the center here, we're going to put one two by two flat. Next up, we're going to start putting in these checkerboard pattern with the white, the blue, the white, another blue, a white, and a blue. Then we're going to have a white base, rotating base, with a 4x4 four four rotator. Next up, we'll just complete out this whole bottom with the checkerboard pattern. That is the complete base. Now they're going to want us to put in a whole bunch of flowers green one here, orange one here, there you go, that's all the flowers. Next up comes the pole, I believe this is where the, the hearts will stand on, just like that. Another one over here, with five round clears. There you go. And two clears here. Next we're going to build out the hearts starting with a one by two plate. Two one by two reverse angle bricks. One one by four plate 
in four red cheese wedges. On the bottom, we will stick one red round that has a hole in the top. And this whole thing will go right to the front here. We're going to create two of the exact same cheap um, hearts. One by two plate. One by two reverse angle brick. One by two plate. One by one clip. One by one plate. Call it a plate, but it's more like a single. Then on top of this is the one by four. Four cheese wedges across the top. There you go. And one single round on the bottom. Just like this. These two will end up clipping here and the other one on the other one. So let me build the second one. There you go. That one clips on the other pole. Just like that. Look at that. Nice little hearts. All right, now we're going to start with the bear. This is step 20 in the set. Two by four plates. Two one by one plates with clips on them here and here. One two by um, two by one brick. A two by one plate with four snots on it. We will put in two one by four one by two with four stop bricks on top this will put in a one by one this one's a reverse this is a normal one by um, one by two with four snots on it and then a green two by two plate on top of this we'll take another two by two plate We'll have two one by two cheese wedges here and here. Whoops, wrong direction. And then we'll build a piece. So I'll just set this down, starting out with a one by four plate, green, one by four plate, and brown, a one by two brick with two cheese wedges, or uh, not cheese wedges two snots on the side, um, two of these tan one by one bricks with snots on two of the sides. Cover that up with a green one by four plate. And this will all go right here in the front of this one. Next up, we have step number 28 with a one by uh, two by four plate, then two one by three plates there and there. Then we will put in the two by two pink brick for the brain. One by two with snots on the side. Another one by two brick with snots on the side. In the front, we'll put in a one by four plate followed with a green one by four plate. In the front here, we will put in the yellow one by two brick with snots. And then the, again, the two tan one by one with two snots on either side. Cover that up with two of these wedges, um, two by four bricks with angles on two sides of it, just like that. Step number 34, you will have a pink piece that goes on top of the other pink brain and then a yellow two by two plate. You'll have a two by, a one by two brick with the curved angle drop down piece. Not sure how to call this, but there's four of them. 
to go across the top just like this. On the top here we will have a two uh, one by two with four snots. Now you have a full row of snot bricks across that side. Then you'll have a one by two plate and two brown cheese wedges up in the front. There you go. Step number 37, we will have a angle piece that goes across this side. And then we need to set this down because we're going to build a special piece, starting with a one by four plate, a curved two by two, just like that. On either side of this will be a one by four curved, just like that. And underneath we're gonna put in the two two by two angled pieces there and here. That way there they have bricks on the top. On top of this will be a one by two plate um, flat. Make sure that's straight. And on top of that is a one by two with a single on top, which will have a biscuit. I don't know what that's supposed to be, a biscuit on top. This whole thing will go here. Oh, is that the back? Is that the tail? Wow, maybe it's a tail. We'll have to see later on what that ends up being. So on this side, we're gonna put in another angle piece, just like this. Whoops, not like that, like this. That's a four by two angle is what I usually call it. And it looks like we're going to build some legs or arms. So I'll set that down. We'll start with a two by two angle, uh, reverse angle brick, a one by two clip with two of these one by two curved drop downs bricks there and there and then on top of this you'll have the two by two tall brick angle just like that this whole thing will clip down here and actually it was up it was straight up i turned it so i can fit into the clip is that a leg or an arm? It might be a leg. Looks like we're gonna have to do that a second time. Let's build it again. All right, there you go. Two legs. Ah, oh, that is two legs, because now I'm gonna build the feet. We're gonna build two of these feet. Starting with the one, uh, two by two round, two, one by run round flats, one and two. Then we'll have two, I guess this is for the pad of the feet. One by one half round, there and there. Looks like a little baby smiley face. This will go on top of the two by two cur uh, angle, reverse angle brick. That's what I've called it. That will go into this one. There you go, smiley feet. We'll build the second one. Another smiley foot. Put that on there. There you go, two smiley feet. Next up, we're going to build out the chest of the bear. We'll start with a two by four plate. Put a one by three plate on there. Put on the two other two by four angle pieces plates. Then we will put in the 2x2 two two light brown flat, a 2x2 two two curved piece, and then two of the same colored half rounds. There and there. This whole thing will go right here to the front of the bear to cover up that. On either side, 
we'll have the two by two rotator and two by two plate rotator. There you go. Now we're going to build one of the arms starting with a two by two plate, two of the one by two drop down curve bricks, two of the one by two curve, uh, one by four curves, long curves, just like that. And then on the end here, you'll use one by one rounds for the paws. This one happens to be this side because it's not holding anything. Wow, it moves. Next up, we're gonna build the other side, starting with the two by two plate. The one by two drop down round uh, curves. The two one by four long curves bricks. We will put in the hand here. And actually this is the exact same hand arm combination as the other side, except for it also gets a, oops, it's this side. It gets a one by one cheese wedge, oh, not cheese wedge, one by one snot brick with snots on either side. Then you have these round see half rounds the other ones were quarter rounds these are half rounds to make the hearts and this whole thing will go on to the right arm here with the heart that's pretty cool don't you want that for valentine's day step number 47 we're going to start working on the head which will be a separate component starting with the three by three plate Four of the two by uh, one by two tall bricks. These are the with the snots on the side. And go. On top of this will be a green three by three plate and a tan cream three by three plate. You will then have a two by three plate there, followed up with a one by three plate with two snots on the top and three of the one by two curved that go just right there. Step number 52 ends up with a flat on the top. That's a one by two flat. And then we will have to set this down <laughs> to build the head, which is starting with the one by three plate, a two by three plate, another two by three plate on the bottom, then a one by two plate here, a brown cheese wedge here. And then the two eyeball pieces, which are supposed to be here and here. Looks like they have you build these upside down. Next up, we'll put in the one by one plate here, two cheese wedges on either side of that along with the cheese wedge on the bottom and a half round flat in the middle for the nose. This whole thing will go to the front here of the head piece. Next up, we build the other side, starting with a two by two plate, one, one by two curved, a 
two by two curved, one of the one by two with the clip container there, a one by two flat, and this whole piece will go on the right side of the head to simulate an ear. Probably something that attaches there. On the back, I'm going to build it a different way to start with the 2x3 plate and then three of the 1x4 rounds um, curves, telephone curves. Then on the other side, I'm going to build this one differently than the instructions too to help move this along. Start with the 2x2 two two plate. One of the 2x1 curves. A clip here, which I will hold to put the 2x2 two two curve on top of that. There you go. And a flat. 1x2 flat there. That looks like a head. Look at that. So now we're going to build out two ears using some of the pieces that are left. The one by one clip, the one by one round, and then the two by two round, which will clip to there. Build the second one. There you go. There's the head. This whole head will clip to the top of the body. Now when you clip this, you want to use the inner holes to put it on in the proper orientation. Hopefully you saw that. This whole bear will then clip on the rotator on the base plate. Move his legs. There you go. You can swing there. That is the final part of the Val Valentine's Heart Bear. Valentine's Brown Bear. That is everything. Three, four hearts because of one he's holding. The bear with movable legs and movable arms giving you a heart for this Valentine's. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe and take a look at the rest of the videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye.